say the words Goodwood in the summer and many people straight away think, ah, Glorious Goodwood, the races, or perhaps the Festival of Speed, Goodwood and Cars. What many people don't realise is that Goodwood House also happens to contain one of the great aristocratic collections of pictures in England. Now I've got an appointment to meet its curator, Clementine de la Poor Beresford, who's very keen to attract new visitors, and she's promised to give me a guided tour. Clementine. Andrew. Hello, lovely to meet you lovely again. Nice to see you again. Uh, how nice of you to have me. Um, well, you're so welcome. Now this, is, I suppose, is one of the, the sort of highlight rooms of the collection. Absolutely. That we've got the Stubbs paintings um, and some wonderful canalettas through there. We have, yeah. But I, our I, pride and joy. I want to sort of delay, you know, I want to leave the best till last. So in a way, so what I'd really like to do is just take uh, our viewers through some of the other rooms Absolutely. and perhaps um, begin by looking at the Stuart portraits because you've got a rather wonderful selection yep. of portraits some of them are copies after established yeah I mean I know I, I did a double take because I saw that painting of George III by Alan Ramsey and I thought hang on I know that that's in Buckingham Palace because <laughs> I is. filmed it in Buckingham Palace <laughs> it is, it um, is. I think he did something like 90 copies but it's actually a very good copy. It that is, one. yeah, yeah, Rather it's a wonderful. very good one. And, and you were telling me a story the last time I was here about the some of the details on the frames. Yeah, so this this actually would have uh, sat in the family's London residence uh, in called Richmond House in the 18th century. But there was a dreadful fire, and so this portrait, along with all of these other royal portraits, were taken out of the house and rescued. And as they were taken out, bits of the gilding came off. So, so they were literally yanking them off the walls literally. and putting them into somebody's yeah, barge. Yeah, the Duke of York's barge to that was save coming them up from the, the river. Fog. Yeah, exactly. So um, that's why it's a little uneven. But I love the way that you've retained the fact that the half the frame's sort of been pulled off. Yeah, well, you know, it gives it so much more, um, more of a story, more yeah, of its history is on they, show. Yeah, I often think it's good if things retain those sort of scars of the past. Oh, absolutely, you know, it retains its authenticity. Now tell me, because I think a lot of people don't really because Goodwood House isn't part of English heritage, it's not part of the National Trust, it's independent. No, completely they, independent. Quite a lot of people don't, it's not on their radar, they don't yeah. know what they can do. So what, what, tell me how you organise um, visits here, because it's very much a guided visit, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so we have a guided tour, um, which, uh, so we're open currently two days a week, um, but we open a lot more in August. And you can come and have a guided tour with one of our lovely guides and, uh, and then have afternoon tea. This been, yeah, this is, this is where the tea <laughs> happens. The tea. <laughs> and, and, in, and, and in the middle of all these wonderful, some of them original and some of yeah. them, you know, this is actually a fantastic, yeah. I, I love just the fact of this being here. Um, also... Van, Van Dyke's Charles and his family. It's it's obviously a studio copy, but it's 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 very good. And There's... presumably these were commissioned by the family because they felt a sense of allegiance yeah, to so, the Stuarts. So the first Duke of Richmond was the illegitimate son of Charles II and Louise de Carowell, who's actually uh, in that portrait by uh, Nella. And um, and so yeah, the first and second Dukes and third Dukes. Um, all wanted to sort of, um, you know, boast about their Stuart ancestry. Illegitimate, but but not that illegitimate. No, no. <laughs> um, but this this one actually, uh, this was smuggled out of Paris during the French Revolution, um, and it was folded up and put on a boat and sent down the Seine. Uh, and you can see the fold lines it retains in it. Um, and uh, yeah, so the uh, the second duke, uh, the third duke, sorry, ordered that. So this got a kind of restoration scar, you know, English Civil War scars. I love this one. Yes. This is very, this is very mischievous. This is, is this, this is Louise de Carouille, the famous mistress of yeah. Charles II. Yeah. Um, hugely influential woman. Yeah, very political at the court. But here she's depicted as Venus. As Venus. And who is, who is Cupid? The Cupid is the first Duke of Richmond. And uh, so, yeah, depicted as a little cherub. And from him, as it were, and the honours that accrued yeah. to him yeah. in a sense all of this all of this absolutely follows. yeah so the current duke is the 11th duke of richmond so yeah. directly from from him and louise 
I, I love that picture. <laughs> who, I don't even know who it's by. It's by Henri Gascar. So, uh, Henri Gascar, who are quite yeah, a few of the pictures yeah, so about Louise him. Yeah, so Louise particularly um, patronised him, um, commissioned lots of work from him. I rather like him. I mean, he's not sort of top rank, but I just think yeah. he's—I think he's got it. And that's—I love this full length of her. Yes. That's rather splendid, isn't it? Yeah. So that's yeah by Nella. Um, we've actually just had that restored, so that it's is complete looking, darkness. That is looking really. You couldn't see any of the backgrounds or the dog. What's um, in the What's in the background on the right? I think it's just some kind of classical landscape. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it was very fashionable to um, paint kind of women in the state of undress because it was a status thing. It was sort of if you were sort of if she was in a greater state of undress, then she was sort of above us. Yeah. You'd visit people when they were dressing exactly. if yeah, they were kings yeah. and queens. Yeah, Louis XIV exactly. used to see half, do half of his business while yeah. still in, well, not pajamas. I don't. Know yeah. Saying, but, <laughs> and yeah. wonderful robe. And opposite her is Catherine of Braganza. She was Charles II's queen, so a um, little bit of tension. <laughs> Definitely a little yeah. bit of tension. But actually, yeah. I've heard that um, I think uh, I think it was an act against Catholics, and Louise was Catholic in the 1670s, but Catherine of Braganza didn't want to exile her. So I don't know if... So they, be... they, there was some respect yeah, yeah, between, the, between the two <laughs> opposing parties. They yeah. often say that in football matches. Yeah. The managers have got a lot of respect for each other, but... Um, she, she is really a mistress of glamour, isn't she? She is, yeah, she is. She's, she's um, one of the first great pin-ups, I've always thought. <laughs> you know, that somehow there's this transition that occurs between the court of Charles I and female beauty at that time, when they still have that aura of almost goddesses or nymphs. There's something slightly sacred still yeah, about that yeah, yeah, representation yeah. Of, of royalty and, and aristocracy. Whereas by the time of Charles II and his ladies and, and Lily, not Van Dyke, yeah, it seems to me to become somehow more like restoration drama. It's yeah. more somehow more of the Maybe flesh. Maybe it's in like the outfits that they wear, the kind of differences in the. I'm not sure. Yeah, it feels like it feels like it's, it's a lot part more on of show, isn't it? Yeah, and yeah, and it's it's women sort of really hustling in a way, mm. and in a way that you can, which I kind of, you know. Yes, it's more coarse, but it's also kind of admirable and got this energy about it.